In today's Reader's Notebook lessons, we are going to continue our talk and practice with writing abbreviations. And we're going to go over some common abbreviations that you see in everyday writing. Um, when you're looking at page 378, you're going to be think thinking about addressing a letter or addressing an envelope to a person. And one of the things I'd like you to notice when we start talking about like addresses, businesses, and states is that some of them are followed by a period. So some abbreviations are followed by a period and some abbreviations such as states like we talked about yesterday are not. And so you'll notice up here that um, addresses, so street, avenue, boulevard, drive, apartment, they are followed by a period. And when you're talking about businesses, when we talk about companies, corporations, or incorporated, or incorporated, those are all followed by a period. And again, states, like we discussed yesterday, are not followed by a period. So today what you're going to do on this page is you're going to be rewriting the addresses. And so here on number one, we have James Johnson. And he lives at 1342 Almond Street. And when we get 1342 Almond Street, I want you to notice that street is one of the things we can abbreviate. And so instead of writing out the word street, we're going to look in our abbreviations. We can see here that street is abbreviated capital S, T, period. And so we will write S, T, period. And on our next line is Patterson, Florida. And there we can see that we have a state again. So we're going to write Patterson comma, Florida, and then we're going to look at our list because we know that Florida can be abbreviated, and to abbreviate Florida, it's capital F, capital L. And that's how you change the address. So you're going to complete this here on the lines provided and go ahead and complete that page. You can pause the video here or you can go on to the next lesson with me and finish afterwards. Okay, here we're talking about the same things, abbreviations. You will notice that with days of the week, they are all a capital letter and the abbreviation is followed by a period for each day of the week. With months of the year, it's the same thing. They're all starting with a capital letter and they are all followed by a period. When we get to units of measurement, it's a little different. We don't use capital letters with units of measurement. And what you need to look at there is some of them are followed by a period, inches and feet, and the others are not. And so in our directions, it says, rewrite the sentences below using the correct abbreviations. And I am going to grab my little sentence here and drag it over because it's too small for me to write on that line there. Um, it says, I left on Saturday. Now, I know Saturday is one of my abbreviations. So I'm going to look down and I'm going to find Saturday and it's capital S. A T period. Now in my sentence, it's also followed by a comma, so I have to keep that punctuation mark in my sentence. And then it's the third of March. And March being a month, we know is abbreviated, and it's M A R period. Again, you're going to see that there's a comma after that. So you're going, to have, you're going to have a period after March and then a comma in the sentence. And then you have after dinner. And then don't forget your period there at the end of your sentence. And that's how you're going to complete these um, finding words that need to be abbreviated. And in this specific case, we're looking for days of the week, months of the year, or units of measurement. And please make sure you refer to the table if there's one that you are unsure of.